Hello, hello, and welcome back to Burroughs. The new Ken build has just come out. I am excited. This is, of course, best boy. We we all can agree to that, right? Like he Ken, Ken is just the best. Oh, okay, we're here. Oh, okay. Well, that was dramatic. I readjust my ensemble, uh, checking my reflection in the dark glass of the window. Awfully bold of the little ruffian to call me a clown with his a uh, par what paramour, paramour, uh, fits those oversized shoes far better. This the whole ordeal has me quite vexed, to be honest. Damn it all! Good lord, this place is unsightly. Looks. Uh, looks like I'll have to perform an impromptu inspection of the property. I could use some entertainment. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the type of landlord who would rifle through my tenant's personal belongings. However, that underprivileged marsupial uh, owes me three months' rent. And I've become quite uh, savvy at guessing where people tend to hide their valuables. First things first, the couch. If you could even call this thing a couch anymore, I've seen sacks of flour with more volume. The possum-shaped dent across its length suggests the, na uh, the nature of their relationship has gone south. Ouch. Good for you, girl. Uh, keep the bed. Alright, now for the dirty work. I'll need to remove my gloves for this one. I don't want any paras yeah, parasites hitching a ride on my delegates. Nothing to write home about. I'll bet Seabone was looking for her for this hairpin, though. I'll leave it on the coffee table for her. She's never been short on rent. Not to mention her shows bring in a ton of customers at La... What, La... Casa, chas, ca, blue. I pay her. She pays me. Simple. The mutt breaks his uh, back doing odd jobs and working on the rail yard to pay his for his sack, despite regularly squatting here. Anyway, what's next? The kitchen. No, I doubt they're the type to hide a family heirlooms in a cookie jar. They just leave the. Uh, that just leaves the bedroom. Well, at least I can return the hos- what? Hos- hosiery? I borrowed from Sim. <laughs> Ma'am, I adore you. But your largest and most glaring flaw was keeping your ex-lover around. Now I'm given no choice but to meddle. Oh, how I tried to warn her. Taking in the pathetic street urchin, trying to right what was wrong. But Jean, she said, this must be fate. He's finally come back to me after all these years. <laughs> Listen, hussy, men such like, men much like uh, herpes will always come running back. Drawers are empty. I guess he took his personal items before he fled. All right, let's check his laundry. Uh, hopefully someone taught him how to wipe. Well, he raises his tail for Ed, so I'm sure his, uh, toes, wait, his toes, uh, twinkle enough to have learned that lesson. But then again, who wouldn't fall for a man like that? He's grown to be so... No, no, uh, we've, uh, we've moved beyond that, yes? No more living in the past. Let's see now. What's this? Uh, there's a seat. What, there is a sea of crumpled paper under his, under his desk. I'm pretty sure Et was holding a note while I, when I walked in. What are these? Love letters addressed to a third secret lover? I unfold one and give it a scan. To my loved ones, I am sorry for disappearing without notice, but this is, a, this is something that simply must be done with haste. Oh dear. This is worse than I thought. He's chosen to abandon this mortal coil without paying me any recompense. Uh, 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 that scoundrel! 
All right, that does it. This calls for a more business-minded individual. Let me go fetch him. Oh. <laughs> There he is. God, I am one handsome devil. Ten years ago, I'd have been flattered to become entangled in a silly love triangle. But now, I know better. Okay, what's this? That's fine. I just wanted the notification out of the way. I hear a... Um, Mamon's uh, words ringing through my mind. Always get cash first. Come to think of it, I doubt that coward actually went through with the whole ordeal. I'll bet Simon is out, out in this mess looking for the whelp right now. If that Charles fellow really is dangerous, I can't let her run into him. My heart is completely made of stone out of those uh, three stooges. I'll always put her first. She's clearly the Asa in this deck of cards. She has the body, the talent, the personality. Heavens, it really is a shame I'm a queer. Okay. I shield myself from the endless onslaught with my cape, careful to avoid stepping in the waste of the rabble. I'm going back to the bar because I want to help Simone, not because of what that mutt told me. What if that sulfur, what, sulfurous, a f swab fellow tried to get fresh with me? Well, I have little old Lucy here, right between the eyes. It seems quieter than usual. It must have been the rain. In any case, I swing open the door to my establishment to find. I swing the door open to my and uh, find another door. What the devil? I certainly don't recall having any additional additions made to the entrance in the last hour. Okay, no more abs... wait, absence? Before noon. No matter. I'll simply go through here and everything will be... Ah, I see, I see. And this is getting ridiculous. I don't know whose idea this little prank was, but my patience is thinning. No response, but I think someone is watching. This hallway is even drearier than the last. I refuse to see what lies beyond. The simplest solution is this, uh, to this game is simply not to play. Au revoir. Thankfully, I left the door, the other two doors open, allowing me to waltz back outside with ease. <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Uh, I can tell that whoever or whatever this is is uh, displeased. The air rambles with discontent, and I can't help but chuckle. Uh, come now, whatever your goal was, you'll have to do more than mere parlor tricks. I'm pushing it, but time is of the essence. Gene, is that you? Oh, Simon's, okay. A Simon, Simon, Simon? Yeah, there's a voice coming from the alley around back. A Jean, it's Charles. He's got a gun. Please come quick. Sim? This is an obvious trap, but that's undemi undeniably Sim's voice. Against my better judgment, I trudge into the alley, my trigger finger staying on the ready as I bash the door open with the business end of my cane. Show yourself, beast. Silence. Uh, come now, I'll make you into a handbag, you filthy rap... Rapscallion? Rapscallion. Once again, this isn't my bar. This isn't anywhere. Was there another business that shared an alley with us? I know I'm getting old, but... I gently closed the door behind me. Why would you do that, though? Why would you do that? Now the only source of light left is the sickly red lamp burning in the distance. Whatever kind of place this was, it uh, had seen better days. The tab the tables are covered in ster sterile uh, white sheets, haphazardly pushed towards the uh, edges of the room. What? Did I miss the square dancing contest? Oh, what the f- 
What the fuck is going on here? A booming deep voice sighs. The room rises and falls along with it. Looky here, son. It wasn't supposed to be this complicated. That's not Charles. Show yourself, Cloud. It, resp a, it responds with a hearty chuckle, and I almost lose my balance as the floor shakes under me. Usually folks just walk straight into the place without any second thoughts. Much, uh, makes my life much easier. I grip Lucy's trigger. You being who, exactly? You can call me Virgil. Charmed. Why don't you show yourself so we can go, go over this man to man? I cock Lucy loud enough that anyone in the room would notice. A portly rabbit steps out of the shadows, uh, donning a rather kinky mask. His eyes. W what is this? I usually get uh, invite. I usually get invited to these kinds of parties ahead of time. Trifling as you are, I can't help but be impressed with your intuition. So I'll cut to the chase. I tap my feet, uh, faking a vibrato. You're looking for Gray, correct? Don't show your cards early. Oh, is that his name? More or less, if it'll get that uh, gator off, uh, uh, off our back and keep Simone safe. Unless you'd like to play it, uh, play in his stead, pay in his stead. I heard another voice along with Virgil. Uh, shit, he's not alone. Oh, you're a feisty one. Well, as luck would have it, I could take you to him. You just need to walk through this here door. You're joking, right? At this point, I wish. He started to get annoyed. Good. Is this going to be a whole thing? Should I pack a suitcase? No more fooling around. There's no trick. He will be past that door. All right. But if he's not, I'm collecting his missing rent from you. Watch out, Rodent. I'm coming for your ass. Christ, he finally skedaddled. You picked a lively one, didn't you? Though I've got my eye on something a wee bit stranger. Sounds just like you. And you, pretty boy. Whatever's up the, uh, what, and what, whoever, whoever ups the ante, uh, I just want to have fun. So I'll stay, uh, stay double or nothing. That'll, uh, anyway, that it as a, a roundabout way of enjoying himself. And you? Ah, uh, yes, uh, the type who just wants to see the game's end. All... All lovely contenders. Well then, let the games begin. Okay. Ah. Ah. To be clutching him gently like that. Ken keeps quiet for a long time. The sirens in the distance are barely audible now. Only the oppressive hub of his engine uh, fills the air around us. Ah, oh, excuse me. I need to blow my nose real quick. Uh, I'm all stuffed up today. It is, it is unfortunate. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. It looks for the other... Well, I'd look for the other two if I could peel a myself off of Ken's back. I guess he just I guess he didn't get the memo that I'm still a rookie when it comes to riding shotgun on a uh, raging death machine. After what after that happened, it's no surprise that they took as took off as fast as they as they could. It, it then dawns on me how tense I am, and I try to relax my muscles. Ken inhales sharply as the uh, grip around him loosens. 
sorry. I can feel a uh, growl reverberating through his body, but I don't care. Why did you, why did you go so far? Still silence. I'm not saying you shouldn't defend yourself, but you already won. The cops would have. Don't. I choke back the rest of my words. His voice is uh, dripping in malice. Just don't. You don't know shit about me, about me yesterday, but you agreed to stick with me. Yeah, but... The less you know uh, going forward, the better. Don't start trying to. Fine, fine. I sigh into his back. He's right. He warned me and I ignored it. But there's no fixing what he did to that fox. Deep down, he has to, f he has to feel some empathy for him, right? So was I. But did he mean by that? But I'm not supposed to. Something is uh, pricking my face. No, it's burning. Uh, burning it. I su I suddenly uh, cro wait. It suddenly crosses the threshold from mild to intense pain, and I pull my face back only to see. Ken's jacket is starting to singe, uh, tiny bits of burnt leather flaking away, uh, turning into ash in the wind. Ken, something's wrong. Stop. The voice around us is changing, a uh, wrapping it. Yeah, r warping, not wrapping, warping into some twisted. Ken. Tiny flames start to uh, lick across his shoulders. Oh god. My hands are fused to his side. Or maybe my body is just paralyzed. All I can do is watch helplessly as the, uh, blaze, as the blaze starts to creep up his neck. He sits there, uh, stoically, his gaze refusing to break from the uh, dark road ahead. Has he somehow not noticed? Impossible. It's already reached his face. Fuck. Again. Well, this is a fun visual, isn't it? The sky cracks open with a white lightning, and the wind across us begins to howl with the voices of the damned. A cruel, um... A cruel humanoid figure is coming to view in the distance. I cry out, hoping it's someone who can uh, help us. But their heads don't turn. They only sway back and forth on the ropes they're hanging from. Row after row uh, of the uh, condemned pass, uh, pass us at the last, wait, as the last of Ken's face is engulfed in, in flames. The embers singe my face. The smoke burns my eyes. I hear his skull cracking like a twig in a campfire. It's too late. The smell of burnt flesh filling my nostrils and something inside me finally breaks. A mouse uh, stuck in... Uh, stuck in a, a burning house, a rabbit uh, choking on fumes from a forest fire. That primal insti survival instinct kicks in, and my body starts to move on its own. I have to get off. I need to get away from this. The scent of death. Burning rubber, leaking gas, a scorching motor oil. It's coming from Ken's body. Oh, sorry, that looks really loud on the levels. I apologize for that. Oh god, it's all that's left of him. That a, bo uh, that a body can be reduced to such an unnatural state. I can't take it anymore. The bike starts to swerve. We're about to clip the side of the road. I don't care. There's no point to any of this anymore. Gray. The ground is above us. Ken? We flipped over. We're dead. He's got me. But we're... Huh. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to end the part here, so I will see you around, everyone.